So tonight, I want to thank all of you, the DRLC Board of Directors and staff, and everyone at the Cancer Legal Resource Center, including your executive director, and I'm proud to say a board member of Coleman's Los Angeles County affiliate, Joanna Morales, Dean David Burcham, and your partners at Loyola Law School, and all your pro bono attorneys across the country. Thank you all for helping our nation to more fully realize our founding ideals so that when we say all men are created equal, we truly mean all men and women, including men and women with disabilities and their life and their liberty and their pursuit of happiness. And let me say, on behalf of everyone at Susan G. Komen for the Cure and our affiliates in Southern and Central California, we are proud to be your partner and we congratulate the Cancer Legal Resource Center on 10 remarkable years. When my sister, Susan G. Coleman, was diagnosed with breast cancer nearly 30 years ago, we didn't have today's universe of information. The shelves of cancer guides at the bookstore, the toll-free helplines, or the internet. But thanks to grassroots organizations of survivors and advocates like Coleman and the DRLC, we ended the silence and shame and empowered patients and their families with the information and advice that can save their jobs, their insurance, and indeed their very lives. The tragic reality, of course, is that so many Americans, racial and ethnic minorities, the poor and those with little or no insurance, are less likely to receive quality cancer care and therefore more likely to die. So as organizations like Coleman work to tear down those economic, social, and cultural barriers to care, America needs organizations like the DRLC to keep tearing down the legal barriers to care. Because Americans with a disability or who are battling a disease like cancer shouldn't have to battle bureaucracies for the rights and benefits to which they are entitled under the law. And no American should ever lose their job their insurance, or their home simply because of a disability or a disease. Because, after all, these principles are not only a shared mission of our two organizations, they reflect the founding ideals of our nation. Thank you for this great honor, and thank you for helping Americans facing a disability or a disease to realize their full potential as an individual, and in so doing, advancing our long national journey toward a more perfect union.